as a live streamer producing my own show or shows for others using StreamYard, sometimes I feel like I need two mouse or mice. Wait, how do you how do you say that? Mouses? A anyway, having two mice or mouses isn't really a thing. So I'm excited to share a new StreamYard feature that gives us the next best thing, and that's hotkeys. That's right. Hotkeys is here and it opens many options for us to be ambidextrous while live streaming. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, funnel clients to your business, or establish yourself as a thought leader. And today we're looking at a new feature from StreamYard called hotkeys. We're going to look at where to find them, how to set them up, how to use them in a show, and we'll share some ideas for workflow. Stay with us till the end where we'll share a major tool that hotkeys has unlocked. So here we are on my desktop and we are looking at StreamYard and I'm going to go ahead and enter the test room first before we go into the hotkeys uh, studio where we're going to do some stuff uh, because I want to show you how you can find hotkeys. There are multiple ways to be able to find it. When I click on enter studio, this is actually one of the places that you can find your hotkeys. So of course we're all familiar with this screen, but if you click on this cam mic button, you'll see hot hotkeys are right here. You have all of them right here. I'm going to show you two other ways to find it. And then we will start walking through uh, how we can set these up Let's enter the studio. And of course, the other way of finding it is clicking on cam mic here and going to hotkeys. We have them here. And then, of course, the way that most people will tell you to find it is click on the settings button over in the corner here and then go to your hotkeys in the settings. It is in your settings section and that's where you'll find hotkeys. There are some default hotkeys that are there. One of the things that I want to share with you here in terms of, you know, setting up your hotkeys, there's no necessarily right or wrong way. But if you are on a Mac, you do want to be able to uh, make sure that it, your 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 hotkeys are not taken by something else. Right. Some people were like, well, I want command C to do such and such. Command C is already a hotkey all over the Mac. So you want to use letters or keystrokes um, combinations that are not in use anywhere else. So be thinking about that. Of course, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be slightly different than if you're on Windows. So you want to be thinking about that as well. If you want your hotkeys to be universal, then you may need to think about just using the shift key instead of command or option because those are only keys that are on a Mac. So I've gone through and set up all of my hotkeys already. For the most part, left them um, the defaults that that uh, StreamYard gives you. But if you ever need to go back to the defaults, you can just go here to restore defaults and you're good to go. Keep in mind, these hotkeys are keystrokes. They're key combinations that you will do that you can press in order to uh, do certain functionality in the system. We're going to take a look at that right now. So here we are back in StreamYard again. I'm actually showing you a camera that shows my hands in StreamYard and you can see me over to the side here. And we're gonna just kind of walk through some of these, uh, some of these hotkeys. I'm gonna put a list of them up on the screen right now. Know that it's small, but uh, we have at least a, a list that you can be able to look into to see uh, some of the ones that we're gonna go through. So right at the bottom here, I want, want you to pay close attention to the you see it says command D when I hover over this command D is, is what it is to mute. So when I hit do the keystroke command command D, you see that that mutes it command D unmutes it, right? You can see my fingers moving on the keyboard and you can see that that mute is happening there on the screen. When I do what's this one, if we hover our mouse, you can see command D, but we can also see command E over in the, the side of the screen there. So I can do command E. You'll see that that turns my camera off. And when I turn my camera off, it drops me from the screen. When I go command E again, it'll bring that camera back up. Now, if I want to go back to the solo view, I would need to do command one. And you can see that these are all happening while I'm uh, without me clicking anything with the mouse. And this is what I mean by being ambidextrous, having your mouse in one hand 
And then of course, having your keystrokes, your keyboard combinations accessible with your left hand. So one of the things that I, I would recommend is of course, making sure that your keystrokes are close, something that you can do easily with your left hand so you don't have to move your mouse. Uh, to be clear, hotkeys, while they are convenient, they don't necessarily remove the need to be able to move your mouse around. It just may allow you to move around a little quicker and navigate quicker um, during your productions. So let's go through some of these screens here. If I wanna do a share screen, I can do shift S and you see that that comes up, right? Cancel, if I wanna do share uh, shared video, I do shift V, right? And that brings up this this screen that would allow me to bring a video up. Let's go ahead and bring a video into the system. We can click there. And there we, we can see that the video is in the system. Right here, we're actually gonna go ahead and go live. So we're gonna do Command G and we are gonna hit that go live button. And that takes us live. Now, the other thing to do, instead of hitting um, clicking the go live button, you can just hit command G again, and that'll take you through to be able to go live. Then now that we are live, let's go ahead and take a look at that where we are live on YouTube. Here we are. And we can see this is an unlisted video because uh, I, of course, don't want everybody to be notified that I am ex indeed live. But here now you're seeing uh, that we are live on on YouTube. Come back over to here. Uh, let's just run through our our layouts, right? We have um, eight different layouts in the system, right? We talked about that. The new, newest one is picture in picture, but you can see as I'm moving my mouse through here, all of these layouts have a, a, a hotkey. So if I do command one, that's the one we're on now. Command two gives us the split screen or cropped screen. If I do command three, that does the group. Command four does the spotlight. Command five brings in the screen share, which was on the screen. Command six does uh, the both of the uh, screen shares. Actually, the first one was news. This one brings up both uh, both cameras in the system. I think this one is called what was it called? Uh, screen. This is, and then picture in picture is Command seven, right? And then cinema is Command eight. So cinema takes them all on screen and off screen puts them back on we have picture in picture and this could definitely be easier as you can see then go ahead and trying to click through the different things that we have in the broadcast and with that we are going to go ahead and go back offline and in order to do that we're going to click on uh, we're going to use the hotkey command g so command then g and command g again and we end the broadcast. That could definitely be useful for your broadcast. There's a few more that I'd like to touch on and you can see them on the side, on the uh, right side of the screen here. Over here on the screen, you can see that we have the ability to go to comments, uh, banner, brand, private chat, settings, and then there's the, a way to just kind of toggle through your tabs. So the toggle through the tabs one is really cool. That's just by hitting the T button. So we can go T, 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 T. That takes us through our tabs that are on the right side of the screen. But we can go directly to the tabs by uh, using the hotkey. So Shift B, uh, Shift B is for banners. Shift G is for graphics. Shift P is for private chat. And you can see that that P is a little bit far. So even though P makes sense for private chat, I may want to use like Q or something so I can do that with one hand. Shift um, Shift O brings up our settings. And again, that's a little too far. So we can close that out. And then, right, like we said, we have T that will take you through the different ones. And that may be just the one that you use is just to kind of cycle through quickly. And if you need to go back one, you can hit Shift T to go back. Now, again, want to go back to our back to our hotkeys. I want to make sure that you guys are seeing here that you will have to set your hotkeys in a way that makes sense for you. You have full control over setting those in your system. I want to show you one last thing before we close out uh, this portion of our video, and that is the stream deck. Now, I'm not certain how many of you are familiar with the stream deck, but the stream deck is right here on the desktop next to my my keyboard, I'm just trying to bring that over a little bit so you can see it a little better. All these keys have already been configured for use with StreamYard. So we have the solo layout, we have the split layout. You can see that 
that me, me clicking the buttons is triggering these movements on the stream deck. But of course, we have the screen share. All of these buttons have already been configured on the stream deck to be able to give us that setup. Now, if I click on this, it gives me settings and private chat. Let me go back to solo view here. We can go to brand. We can go to private chat. Like I said, banners. We have the ability to go into comments even. And then, of course, you do have the, the, the next layout. Next layout takes you through the layouts on the screen. You can see that changing while I'm clicking. So that that's actually more to do with these. But um, and then we do have the the toggle button here, which will take you through the different um, tabs on the right side of your screen so we have all of those then of course we do have the mute button we have the stop cam button right and we do have the share screen button here as well on the stream deck we have the share video file on the stream deck as well and then we have full screen on the screen stream deck which is shift f which i probably did not show to you before but that's what that keystroke is and that's what you can do with the stream deck so you can see with these with two hands now that we have the hotkeys we have the ability to use two hands and that may help to speed up your production that may help to speed up your ability to react and to respond and to shift and make changes um, during your live shows and i hope that this was helpful for you here's a critical tip design your workflow that's right design your workflow having a mouse in one hand and quick access to keyboard shortcuts with the other aka hotkeys it, it will work beautifully if your workflow is designed around it oh and that stream deck whoo there's so much power in the stream deck and we had to split that into a separate video and even then we'll only scratch the surface so do me a favor let us know in the comments if you're new to stream deck and if you'd like to see more content specific to this powerful tool want to take your Streamyard skills to the next level consider purchasing our self-paced Streamyard masterclass eight modules with over two hours of in-depth training on the platform covering all the functions features basics hacks and most importantly the mindset needed to produce an awesome live show visit kirkrnugent.com masterclass to purchase access today in our next video we'll cover how to set up StreamYard with Stream Deck, which is made possible by Hotkeys. Be sure to subscribe so you're notified when that video is published. As always, it's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping it's somewhere in the video today we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.